Good morning, West Leiden. And welcome to this week's edition of WLTV. Today is February 14th. Happy, Happy Valentine's, Valentine's Day! Day. <laughs> so Felix, have you ever wondered how much Valentine's Day has changed? Yeah, of course. So here's Marlene and Heidi to tell us more about how Valentine's Day has modernized. Happy Valentine's Day, Mr. Flincham. Have a kiss. Aww. Roses, cupids, chocolates, hearts. It's February and love is in the air and now more than ever, today's digital age has helped those seeking love expand their horizons in terms of finding compatibility through social media. Um, I actually met my fiance through a mutual friend, but it was kind of like hearsay, like I knew about him a little bit and he knew about me, but we only just saw each other on Facebook posts. And social media actually did play a part because he actually wished me a happy birthday on social media and only because my friend posted something about my birthday. So then he kind of wished me a happy birthday and it was all kind of uphill from there. Today, it's estimated that more than 40% of Americans have used online dating. However, while many view online dating as a great seeking source for love, there are definitely disadvantages. According to research, 53% of Americans admit being dishonest about their appearance on their social media profile. Yes, that is like a real life fear. Catfishing. You always have to be you always have to be responsible and like be safe whenever you're on social media. People have found comfort and love through dating apps, and it's clear that technology has changed the way we interact and how we form relationships. But it's important to understand the implications of finding convenient and easy love. Happy Valentine's Day! What do you guys think about online dating? Pathetic! <laughs> what would be the perfect Valentine's Day gift for a guy to receive? Uh, chocolate covered strawberries. You know, I want some a teddy bear and some flowers. What gift would you get for your significant other? Um, so the gift that I would want to give her is either like you know some flowers, the Louis bag, uh, an Infinity G35, a dog. Wow, it's so crazy how much Valentine has changed over the years. So Felix, what are your plans for tonight? I'm gonna be spending time with my Valentines. How about you? I'm going to spend time with my Valentines too. Netflix. <laughs> this week, the French Honor Society had its induction ceremony. The French Honor Society is one of many honor societies we have here at Leiden. Giselle and I went to go check out the special ceremony that was happening this week. Ladies and gentlemen, you have the new inductees of 2020 for French Honor Society at East and West. This Thursday, 15 students had the opportunity to be inducted into the French Honor Society. Mademoiselle Leperu gave us more of an inside view on this special event. This is my fourth year sponsoring FHS. I started when I started at Leiden. And I think what I like the most is I get to spend more time with my students. Um, I have more opportunities to do service with them and other fun things that we don't have time for in class. East Leiden's FHS president, Omar Montiel, gives advice to the other classmen and tells us what it means to be part of the society. It means that all your hard work has really paid off. I mean, it's hard to be in FHS and it's hard to get into, but once you're in it, the payoff is just so worth it. You get really close with a bunch of people who just love learning the same language as you do. To be considered, students must have taken two years of French, have maintained an A average and an unweighted GPA of 3.0. Being an FHS member is really about sharing your love for the culture and the language. So I really hope they go on to um, learn more French and to spread, you know, the love of language and other cultures. Keep working hard. It's really easy to be discouraged by not doing so well learning French. It's a, definitely a hard language to learn. So just keep going. You guys got it. Et la culture française. Ok, well, congratulations, félicitations! Congratulations to everyone who got inducted. You know who's coming to Leiden? Yes, Erica L. Sanchez, the author of I Am Not Your Perfect Mexican Daughter. And here's Ashley and Jasmine bringing us more about One Book, One Life. One Book, One Leiden is an initiative started about six years ago to celebrate reading at District 212 and get as many kids excited about a book as possible. Erica L. Sanchez is our author. She's an Illinois native, grew up in Cicero, and her book is a New York Times bestseller. And it uh, is also an Abe Lincoln nominee 
That means it's considered one of the top 20 books in the state of Illinois, voted on by teens for teens in our state. Erica L. Sanchez will be coming to the West Latin Library on Thursday, February 20th, 6 through 8 p.m. There will be books in Spanish and in English for $10 that will go to the Lighting Foundation. Anyone is welcome to attend the event. After all festivities are over, there is a group of us going to the Steppenwolf Theater to see her book, which has been adapted into a play, which I'm excited to see. Um, and a lot of the students that are all about the book, since it's the number one book checked out at both high schools, are wearing these amazing student-designed uh, t-shirts. Graphic student designed this shirt. Um, and that's our One Book, One Light shirt, so you'll see a lot of us wearing this next week. I would recommend this book. This is uh, an awesome book, honestly. I feel like a lot of Leiden students would be able to um, connect with it, mostly because it's um, a Hispanic culture, and many Leiden students are Hispanic. And I started reading it the first day, and I just couldn't put the book down, and I finished it like the next day or something, so. Good luck to all the Eagles competing this weekend. And have a fun and safe Valentine's Day. Don't forget to submit your TikToks to be featured on WLTV. Also have a nice three-day weekend. Happy Valentine's Day. Go Eagles!